Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have 2 to the power of x equals to x to the power of 32 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here in this problem, uh, our first target is to move the variable term to the right hand side and we move the constant term in the left hand side. Uh, for this we need to move x to the right hand side and 32 to the left hand side. So first we move over x to the right hand side uh, for this in order to eliminate x from left hand side uh, we need to take the x root on both of the sides or in other words we will take 1 over x power on both of the sides. So it will be written as x to the power of 32 and its whole power is 1 over x. And now here in the next step we apply here the exponent law you know that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n according to this exponent law we will multiply these two exponents and it will be written as x to the power of uh, 2 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over x and here we have x to the power of 32 multiplied by 1 over x so for the you see here this x and x are cancelled out by each other and we get 2 equals to uh, here we move this 1 over x inside the term uh, according to this rule if you have m multiplied by n then we move m inside the term in this way so that here we move 1 over x inside the term it will become x to the power of 1 over x and here we have 32 only okay so now here our next claim is to move 32 to the left hand side so in order to eliminate 32 from right hand side we need to take the 20 32 root on both of the sides or in other words we will take uh, 1 over 32 power on both of the sides it will be written as x to the power of 1 over x and its whole power is 32 and we take the 32th root on both of the sides okay so again we can apply here this exponent law so according to this exponent law we will multiply these two exponents here and it will be written as 2 to the power of 1 over 32 equals to x to the power of 1 over x and its whole power is 32 multiplied by 1 over 32. This 32 is cancelled out by this 32 and we will get here the remaining value is 2 to the power of 1 over 32 equals to x to the power of 1 over x so here further in the next step uh, here uh, if you focus in the left hand side we have the exponent of this term is the reciprocal of its base so we make this type of condition in the left hand side uh, so uh, in order to make this type of condition here we can just multiply and divide the exponent of left hand side with 2 and we carry on this multiplication uh, until we get the exponent be the reciprocal of its base okay so here first we need to multiply the exponent of this term and multiply and divide by 2 it will be written as 2 over 2 to the power of 1 over 32 and x to the power of 1 over x so here we move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 2 square and we multiply this 2 with this 32. So 2 multiplied by this 32 we write it here and this whole is equals to x to the power of 1 over x. So further in the next step we have this 2 square equals to 4 and uh, 1 over 2 times of 32 equals to 64 equals to x to the power of 1 over x. You see here uh, our exponent is not the uh, reciprocal of its base. So that we again repeat this process and we again multiply the exponent of 4. Multiply and divide the exponent of 4 by 2 and it will be written as 4 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 64 equals to x to the power of 1 over x. So here uh, we again move this 2 inside the term and we multiply this 2 with 64 and it will be written as 4 square and its whole power is 1 over 2 multiplied by 64 equals to x to the power of 1 over x. 
and now here in the next step you see here we have this is 4 square 4 square equals to 16 and its whole exponent is 1 over 2 times of 64 equals to 128 and this is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so further in the next step uh, here we again uh, repeat this process because here we cannot find the exponent with the reciprocal of its base uh, so that uh, here we can again multiply and divide the exponent of this term by 2 so it will be written as 16 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 128 equals to x to the power of 1 over x so further in the next step uh, again we move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 16 square and its a whole power is 1 over this 2 is multiplied by 128 equals to x to the power of 1 over x. So that now here our next claim is to find the square of 16 and 2 times of 128. First we multiply 2 times of 128. So 2 8 is a 16. We write 6 and carry 1. 2 2 is a 4. 4 plus 1 is 5 and 2 1 is a 2. So 2 times of 128 equals to 256. So now we can find the square of 16. So we multiply 16 with 16. And here we break the 16 as uh, 10 plus 6. And now we uh, multiply uh, the 16 with first 10 and then 6. So 16 times of 10 becomes 160. And here we multiply 16 with 6. So you get 160 plus this is 6 times of 6 is 36. We write 6 and carry 3. 6 1 the 6, 6 plus 3 becomes 9. So that here we add 160 plus 96, then you get here 256. So here uh, we have the 16 square is also equals to 256. So now we move backward. And we put the value of 16 square and we put the multiplication of 2 times of 128. So after substituting these two values, we will obtain here 256 to the power of 1 over 256 equals to x to the power of 1 over x. So now you see here um, the exponent is the reciprocal of its base on both of the sides. So that now the time to compare both of the sides. If you compare the expo, you compare the basis, we get x equals to 256. And if you compare the exponents, then you again get 1 over x equals to 1 over 256. So from both of these cases, you get the same value, and that is x equals to 256. So this is the our final answer of this question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.